I want to tell you a little bit more about how to do the popcat effect with text-to-speech or other audio output devices using the Move Transitions plugin for OBS. You can do this for all kinds of things. Um, I personally use it for text-to-speech bots and for making a mini-me little character move around to say things on stream. This is a test for text-to-speech. Whatever is an audio output device, you can have it set to move to that. The only things you need, the Move Transitions plugin, which I will link down in the description below. The audio you want to affect it, it needs to be on a separate audio output source. Otherwise, the mouth will move on your little character for every sound that comes through the audio output you have it set to. The last thing you need is two images, one with mouth open or one with mouth closed, or something else if you want to get more creative with it. It's really simple, I'm going to show you how to set it up. <laughs> cool, let's get to it. Okay, so our desktop is going to look a little bit like this. We're going to want to add a audio output capture. I'm going to add one I have already got existing. Oh, this is my text-to-speech audio output. We're going to set this so we know it's on the same audio output. This has to be separate from everything else you have as an audio output, because otherwise when your little character moves, it will move for every sound coming from that audio output. So you want your text-to-speech or whatever it is that you want on this little character to move. You want that to be separate audio output to everything else. I've got mine currently set to game. I have a GoXLR, so this makes it a little bit easier for me. And then we're going to press OK. And then we want to add our two images. We want our mouth open to be on top and we want our audio output to be at the very top. So now you can see the mouth open and closes whenever I make that visible. Okay, next up we go to filters and we want to add an audio move filter. We're going to call this one mouth closed. We want this one to be source for visibility to set the scene to whatever the scene these are saved on it and set the source as mouth closed. Uh, and then finally, we want this to be enable under and disable over, which is the bottom one here. Cool. And then I'm just going to put the threshold as two and two for smoother transition between mouth, mouth open and closed. Uh, this is talking about the threshold of the audio value of your audio output device. Cool. And then we want to do this again, add another audio move and call this mouth open. This will again be magnitude. I'm going to pop this one on top. Source visibility, we're going to do the exact same again. And then mouth open. And then if we want this to be the other way around, so it'll be enable over and disable under. And then again, I'm just going to set it to two and two. Now, in theory, when we look back, the mouth will be closed. And whenever there's audio output through our, our TTS output device, um, this will turn on, making the mouth open visible. This is a test for test to speech. It's super easy, super, super easy. Check out my tutorial on how to set up a by text to speech for custom voices. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try and make more tutorial content. If you have any questions or things you want to hear about and how to do, I do a lot of things with my stream and a lot of cool custom redemptions. If you want to check them out, link to my stream is down below. I stream five days a week. Uh, you can come check me out. I'm a VTuber. I do a whole variety of content and we have chaotic gremlin vibes. But otherwise, I would love to teach you more things about how to uh, be a VTuber and do cool effects and things with your stream and with your content. Have a good night. Goodbye.